Uh, my name is Lance Crosby. I work here at Montpelier as a metal detector technician uh, with the archaeology department. Number one, being on a historic property is, is mind-blowing. It's, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible work uh, atmosphere. Just to be part of anything, uh, uncovering part of Madison's past uh, is, is incredible. Um, what's interesting, especially for you guys, what I'm doing right now is we thought we were done in this area. It's all flat. Um, and then Lance came in with a metal detector and found a bunch of hits. So I am responsible for going through and digging out what he hits that he's found. My name is Matthew Reeves. I'm director of archaeology here at James Madison's Montpelier. A lot of times at a site like this, you've got no indication of where the buildings are, so you have to use survey techniques to find where these structures are located. One way that we do, we've done this in this area, basically from where the line of excavation is here all the way back to the visitor center, we've done used remote sensing, such as metal detector surveys, where we uh, grid the area off in 10 foot squares, and then do metal detector sweeps, and in each one of these squares, count the number of hits that occur in each 10 foot square, plot that on a map, and then where there are concentrations, we know there's some sort of building that was there. Matt, you brought Lance in how long ago on this project? Mm, it was about three years ago. And why did you bring him in? Brought him in initially, we were doing uh, surveys of an area of woods. And with using metal detector technology with my own staff, we weren't able to get the results that I thought we should be getting. So I talked with Lance, he came out for about a month on a volunteer basis started finding these sites because Lance has about 30 years of experience behind the metal detector he uses and started to find these sites in an efficient way that I knew I couldn't afford not to have Lance on staff helping us with this process. And what we've been able to do over the past three years is really grow the, the technique of metal detecting in, in such a manner that it cross cuts every aspect of the surveys and excavations we do. We were able to use the metal detector technology to figure out features that would take us, you know, a month to be able to figure out with Lance. It's about, you know, an afternoon. Mm -hmm. And you said you couldn't afford to do it without him, so he's really become pretty indispensable to your, to your operation here. Absolutely, absolutely. That's very cool. Huh. That's a lot it, of fun. It's a little bit different than, than what you're normally used to is digging, you know, finding a signal, yeah. digging it, finding a signal, digging it. But here, you know, you got to look at it as a long-term project. So mm -hmm. you'll see this go from, from the skewers going into the ground to eventually to the site like we were up on the hill. Oh, yeah. To, to it being down some in some places two, three feet. You're not now just looking at one small hole with one artifact, and then you're looking at, at the whole site. Yeah, you're looking at a, the whole a very big site. Now, really, as far as the grid hunting and things like that, that's that's just, you know, that's what everybody should be doing no matter what. But as a metal detectorist, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, it, it's not a it's not a quick fix. It's, it's not a quick uh, artifact recovery. This is a long, ongoing process, and I tell you, it's, it's very exciting to start it off and to see where it finishes. <laughs>